Why did you open the AB gate before everyone got back? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Of course we do. Why? I don't remember us all promising we wouldn't open the thing until everyone showed up. Probably both. We were able to get back here in time. But what about the others? And Miyoji, Quark, and Clover are still out there somewhere. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back in time? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Did you hear the voice? Anybody who doesn't get back in time to vote just gets their vote automatically set to ally. Seems pretty straightforward to me. So what if they don't get back in time? They'll all get set to ally and all three of them will get 2 BP. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. Ten Miyoji's only got one BP. I figure he'll be pretty happy to get two more. And that'll put Quark and Clover up close to nine. So that's not too bad for them either. In other words, they ought to be thanking me. What? What's this? Here are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. What the hell, man? This wasn't in our room. Back me up here, guys. He's right. There was no such note in our safe. Oh, well, damn. That's a bummer. I'd never have opened the gate if I'd known about this. <laughs> of course. I'm worried about the others. If time runs out, they'll... They'll be penalized, yes. I know. Quark is part of that team. Maybe something happened with him. This is bad. Quark! Has Quark been here? Did something happen to him? He disappeared! I mean, he's gone! We can't find him anywhere! When was the last time you saw him? We were heading back here. Tenmyoji and I went into the lounge, but Quark didn't follow us. We turned around and started calling for him, but... When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarters and the infirmary. But he wasn't there either. All right. We need to split up. If we can't find him in any of the Floor A rooms, we'll move to Floor B. Okay. I need to go tell Alice. You guys go on ahead.
He's not in the other two either. There's no one here. Right. Okay, let's leave that to them and head to floor B. Yeah, so? You want to see it? Fine. Follow me. The pantry. That drawer over there is stuffed with processed food. Wasn't half bad, actually. Yeah. There was some paella, nasi goreng, schnitzel, yukejang, borscht, and tom kha gai. Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta, too. Can't help it. I'm a growing girl. 20, I think. <laughs> now that's funny. You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. Don't call me little. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. Yeah, the use by date is about a hundred years from now. There's a tank over there. It looks like they're pulling it out of some kind of well. Well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. I guess you could say that. No, I was careful with the food too. Dio had some of it first, and it seemed fine, so I... Oh! I almost forgot! I ate something else! Twice cooked pork! What is it? Reminded you of what? <sighs> Bullshit. I see. 
So the Gollum guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something. So the last thing he said was, see you right in the middle of... Right in the middle. Middle could be for Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Really? I don't think so. Well, maybe he was trying to say that this game is like the Chinese room. In other words... Sigma! Fi! There you are! I've been looking all over for you! Something bad! Something really bad! Alice... Alice is... Just come with me! She's in the crew quarters! Me. I was looking for Quark on floor B and couldn't find him. So I came back here and... Well, you know the rest. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? You better not be thinking I did it. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. Fuck that! She'd already been murdered when I got here. How do you know she was murdered? <laughs> what? Come on, it's obvious. She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? How do you know the weapon was a knife? What? All you can see from here is the handle. For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. Well, well yeah, I guess that's true, but... but... I mean, come on, who wouldn't look at that and assume it's a knife? And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the person you should be looking at. Who was the last person to see her? I need to go tell Alice! You guys go on ahead! Alice... Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. You promised me we'd catch them together. Don't do this. I can't trust them anymore. It could have been any one of them. They killed you, Alice. I can't forgive them for that. I'm going to get revenge. I'll find out who killed you. And I'll... I'll... Shut up! Don't you talk to me! I'm sorry, Alice. Wait! Clover, come back!
it's pointless. Even if you caught up to her, she'd never tell you anything. Think it through. There are two possibilities. Either Clover killed her, or she didn't. If the former is true, then I doubt she would confess. If the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice and Clover seem to know each other. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. You seem pretty calm. Did you do it? Not again. Well, if you really want to suspect me, please, go ahead. I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed to it. I would ask you to consider my motive for killing Alice. Specifically, the fact that I have none. Well, yes, but none of us do. None of us have ever met Alice before, right? So why would we want to kill her? You are correct. But only if the murder had a motive beyond, well, murder. Do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior, and that they were one of us. There is every reason to think the same person murdered Alice. Perhaps this person plans to kill us one by one. Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill us at his leisure, in a world of his own creation. Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? Presumably, because they enjoy killing. Zero Senior seems to be rather... disturbed. No. There's no way Zero Junior wouldn't notice that. And if he did notice, I really don't think he'd just let something like that slide. But isn't Zero Junior just an AI without a body? What could he do? Maybe. But Zero Senior has a body. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? Not possible. At least not so long as we assume Zero Junior's statement to be the truth. Do you remember? He made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us. recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Apparently Zero doesn't feel like this is worth stopping the game for. A blunt but effective way to make the point. We should get to the warehouse. It seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us, should we disobey the rules. As such, I recommend we follow them.
Hey, look. Two of the AB gates are closed already. Probably ten Miyoji and Clover. Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need to go with him? As long as one person in each pair is there, it should be okay. Sharing their destiny, huh? Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. After all, you're a pair, but your partner is... Well, I'd rather not say it. Good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you mean. Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP left. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Of course, that's not really a problem now. Stop that, Dio. I would have chosen Ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. And I... I trust him. Haha, <laughs> oh, this is interesting. If one of you guys picks Betray, we are gonna get a show. Dio! Ignore him. How do you and Phi plan to vote? You even gotta ask? Ally. Of course. Right, Phi? I don't know about that. It's a difficult question. What? Well, if we choose Ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number nine door whenever he wants. But it's not as simple as just choosing Betray, either. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with nine points. So we should both choose ally. Seems easy to me. You're planning on betraying me, aren't you, Dio? As soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. I've no doubt you could overpower Phi, if you had the desire to. Oh, give me a little credit. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? Huh, <laughs> the nerve. Um... What? This is just a thought, but... Why don't all of you promise to choose Betray? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. If you knew the other person was going to betray you, you'd have no choice but to do the same. That seems pretty... negative for you, Luna. I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize for. We appreciate your suggestion and we'll take it into consideration. But unfortunately, I don't think it's a very good idea. See, my goal is to beat this game. But, Fi... Maybe that wasn't the best way to put it. When I say I want to beat it, I mean defeat it. Completely. I want to get us all out of here. We haven't beat the Nonary game until we're all out of this place. I guess we won't all be getting out anymore, though. Oh, you mean Alice? Yeah. At any rate, all of us choosing Betray every time is hardly ideal. We'd never escape. Hmm. Kay needs to choose Ally. It's the only way. How will you make sure I do that? I have no guarantee that you'll choose Ally as well. Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? Well... Yes, I suppose so. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Dio! Huh? There's someone behind you. What? You bitch! God damn it, Fi! Open this fucking door! Fuck! Uh, uh, uh. 
Invalid hair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Members of a pair cannot vote in separate rooms. What? Why the fuck not? This is against the rules. How am I supposed to vote? <sighs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Dio will have nine points. But don't you think Vi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all, if he can be pretty sure that Phi is going to choose Ally, then... You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose Ally. Two minutes remain until polling closes. We don't have much time left. Let's go. Okay. Um, Sigma? You... You are going to choose Ally, right? Thirty seconds remain until polling closes. I would have chosen an ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent. Ten seconds remain until Ambedek's game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points.
Thank you, Sigma. It was nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have seven BP. This is the home stretch. Because I'll choose ally? If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, you'd get nine points either way. You're right. Okay. Well, it's just... There's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Oh... Yes. That too. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? You're such a jerk! How could I betray you after that? And then you... you... I'm sorry. Are you... zero? What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? I told you, I... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover, this isn't about me. I... I made a mistake. I got someone involved on all this when I shouldn't have. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to nine? Yes. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! What just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Yes, I did. Phi put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. And so, I voted accordingly. That was her guarantee? Yes. It's because you promised, right? <laughs> yes, that too, I suppose. Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection. Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Something in me said, don't betray her. You could call it intuition. I suppose. Cut it out. 
Gut feelings are bullshit. Fine. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. And I don't remember doing that. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kind of skeeves me out, to be honest. <laughs> You chose Ally, too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. That got him to lower his guard. What? What are you getting at? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? Shut up. Um, if we could, uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. <laughs> oh, that's right. Remember what Zero Jr. said? As soon as the gate's closed, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The parent solo assignments hop around a bit too! <laughs> Me too. Looks like we're pairing up again. Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm green. Yes. We need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Tenmyoji, and Clover. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet too. Anyone could just pick it up now. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. And don't forget to... Um, retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? Shouldn't 
we decide on a time to meet up? Just in case? Let's see. When do the doors open? An hour and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back here in 40 minutes? Maybe. Maybe. You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. A gut feeling, huh? Sure you are not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. Are you sure? Have you considered that it might be Luna? Why not? She would have just had to pick Betray. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up or locked her away or something. Besides, there's no way in hell Alice would have chosen an ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. No, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we'd need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. All right, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. Run away! I wasn't running away, though... I just... don't want to talk to you. Why not? I already figured out who did it. I can't tell you. You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. Yeah, snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. I'll hold on to this.
You mean what Alice noticed. Were you even listening? I'm investigating. What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Huh. Found something already. Have a look. Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. Maybe. Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyo G and Dio's bracelets have changed to. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So this is where Ten Miyoji's team went. How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. sign of him, huh? Happy? I'm asking if your happy quark's still missing. And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? And just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I never should have brought him here. Yes. Zero made me an offer. You mean you came here voluntarily? I see the other side of your bracelets. Why? Please, just do it.
Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. Good work. It's dark now. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. That stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? I guessed when you turned off the light. Yeah. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the luminol? Yep. Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Sorry, but I've got to go. I need to go look for Quark. tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know, and then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking you, put yourself in my shoes. do you any good. Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh. I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Well, what is it then? No. No, I didn't. Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Get going. Move. <laughs> like another warehouse. Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Never mind that. There's someone else here. Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to.
Oh, nothing. Just going with the flow, you know? And seeing where life takes me. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. Why would I? Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. So I figure, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives. Which probably won't be that long. Yeah, did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It looks good nine seconds, so be not careful. You could get stuck. So, what are you guys here for? Did you bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Ah, oh, really? You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, you'd be hanging from that crane right now. Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the A-B game won't pick Ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you too. Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. <laughs> Yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. <laughs> anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. Ugh, <laughs> oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. <laughs> Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that. Exactly. <laughs> Right. The only one left is the other cyan pair, so we can assume that's what Quark is. No, there's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Moving around so much is a pain in the ass. Right. On my way.
Well, you see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? It reminded me of something we saw earlier. Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Do you know what that means? What about the other part? Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Huh. <laughs> Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. I guess I have to do everything. Part of it was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. It should be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Exactly. Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all? Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. We should get moving. Astute observation. What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Just want to check something really quick. The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Find something? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. The truth hurts. Hmm. So, blood, huh? Oh my god. I noticed something. The 
the same thing Clover and Alice noticed. Look at the number six AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. It's the first thing you think of when you hear blood. Yeah, this whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on! This is no time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Right. What do you think was going through her mind? And? 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 You're almost there. Yes, exactly. So how long do you think it was here? Wait. When's the start? Figured it out, huh? Yeah. Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? And, who was trapped in there when the Nonary game started? What do you think this is? Seems like it. This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was, which means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with this handkerchief, and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Then when the room was moved, it came out, Seems pretty likely. This is all just speculation, understand? 
there are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was. Which would mean that Clover probably does too. Right. Hmm? You're right. Sigma. Phi. There you are. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Luna. Luna is dead. She's in room two in the crew quarters. The same room where Alice was murdered. I 
I believe she was poisoned. See here. This device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine and it killed her. Should I go get them? What do you mean? Yes? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. All right, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... resuscitating. Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Some minutes later, I heard something. It came from behind the cyan door and sounded like a woman's scream. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said. Or even if I had heard it at all. It seemed entirely possible that I had imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, I noticed that the door to room 2 was slightly ajar. That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. Yes. I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarine. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR, to the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can cause serious brain damage. I felt time was of the essence. But... Hey, how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her? Well, I'm afraid I can't say exactly, but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. That would have been plenty of time. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. I assume they left that way. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Um, may I say something? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna, but there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. 
Do you notice anything? The weapon. Indeed. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. How would I know? Why are you asking me? Hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? This is hypothetical. I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the easier it is to kill someone. There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. No. I don't know either way. They could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. It's not impossible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet, and then Kay came by later. There was probably about a 30 minute window. Anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Save that brain space for something more useful. Well, I think that about covers it. We clear? Good. Anyway, we should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? Yeah. We should go to the White Doors, then. Dio should still be there. Hopefully Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. Please, take this with you. Is something the matter? You and Phi are the magenta pair. Without the green solo bracelet, you won't be able to open the secondary door. Then... If you don't wish Luna's death to be meaningless, then you must survive. Or do you intend to die without catching her killer? Good. Shall we go? Wait. Shit. No. Well, not yet. We might be looking at a worst-case scenario. Uh, excuse me? God. What the hell is wrong with me? How did I miss this? I'm sorry. This is my fault. It's just... There was so much going on, I wasn't thinking. Quark! Yeah. Exactly. Oh dear. This is bad. And if they haven't gotten in by the time the primary door shuts, they'll be penalized. If we haven't found Quark by then... 
Let's just go to the warehouse on floor B. Perhaps Quark has already been found. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late. What the fuck were you thinking? You trying to kill me? What? How the fuck would I know? I've been here. Look, forget about him. Where's Alice's bracelet? Which one of you has it? Look around, asshole. What do you think? Hey, pay attention. The bracelet. Do you have Alice's bracelet? Hand it over. Good. Let's go. Hey, what is this? What, you don't like this door? Fine, we can take a different one. As long as we're in the right group, it shouldn't matter which door we take. That's not the issue. Then please, tell me, what the fuck is the issue? Being a human being. Three of us still haven't arrived. If we leave them behind... Oh, come on! Now you're gonna grow a heart? If you stay here, you're gonna kill me! But... Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. All right. Fine. I'll be honest with you. The truth is... I've got a kid, a baby. I was told that if I didn't win this game, my kid's as good as dead. And that's... You have to trust me. I swear, it's God's honest truth. Zero told me to keep it under wraps, but... I figure I don't have a lot of choice right now. I'll tell you more once we get inside. Please. You have to believe me, Kay. Please. If you won't do it for me, do it for my kid. If I lose, it's all over. Please. I understand. Let's go. Really? Yes. I have one condition, however. A condition? Yes. But it's not for you, Dio. Sigma, 
I want you and Phi to go into one of the doors as well. Dio and I cannot be the only survivors. I would have the two of you join us. That is my condition. Damn it. Couldn't make this easy, could you? What do you say? The decision is yours. Fucking head for once. You're gonna get us killed. Is that what you want? Me either. I agree with Sigma. We can't just ditch them. I'm staying. Bunch of fucking idiots. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. I see. I suspected that would be your answer. You leave me with no choice then. My apologies. <laughs> you have my sympathy. I wish there was another way. If I had not forced the issue, neither of you would have budged. Such is your character. I confess I am not entirely sure. I will think about it during the ten seconds that remain. Goodbye. Yeah. Can we just... sit here for a moment, though? My body's gonna be fine, but... I think I need a little time to get my feelings sorted out. We should go. Yeah. It said security. The footage from the surveillance cameras might run through here. I'm not sure. Right now, all the screens are dark. Even if we could activate them, I doubt Zero is just gonna let us watch whatever we want. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do here. 